So far, we've had three trailers for Doctor Who Season 1, but what do these trailers show us? As mentioned, we currently have three trailers for Doctor Who Season 1 or Series 14, whichever you want to call it. We got a Next Time trailer at the end of The Church on Ruby Road, a Disney Plus trailer, and a third BBC trailer alongside all eight episode titles being revealed. In this video, I'm going to break down what all of these trailers show us about Doctor Who Season 1, starting with that Next Time trailer we got at the end of The Church on Ruby Road. Into the vortex. So we open with a close up on the 15th Doctor's eyes, this obviously doesn't give too much away, but this is then followed by another shot of Shooty Gatwa as the 15th Doctor looking at something that we don't get to see, with a couple of people in the background, one of them looks like it's Ruby Sunday, just over his shoulder, and the other character we can't make out who it is, chances are it's probably just a brand new character for whatever episode this is, probably episode 1 because of the outfit that he's wearing, but I have seen some people speculating on Twitter that this could possibly be Martha Jones, although even they don't think it could be that, but it's not completely out of the realm of possibility, I would love to see Martha return and chances are she is still working at unit which we know are going to feature in this season and just recently featured in the 60th anniversary. We then see the 15th Doctor running down a corridor which I assume is part of the 60s episode with the Beatles. This could even be like the entrance to Abbey Road Studios before you get into the studio itself or something like that. But I do believe it's for that episode which we now know is called The Devil's Chord and I think it's also the episode with Jinx Monsoon in it as well. We then have a shot of the 15th Doctor and Ruby Sunday in the TARDIS with the same sort of lighting we saw in in the Sonic Screwdriver reveal video, which I think is really cool lighting, the kind of blue and red lighting of the TARDIS. Although I think we're going to get multiple different variations of the lighting in the TARDIS, which is going to be great, similar to his outfits. And the Doctor says, into the vortex, and pulls the lever of the TARDIS to take off. They are in some quite interesting outfits during this moment, which I'm not really sure what it indicates. It's almost like army or tactical-like, with a whistle around his neck as well. I'm pretty sure they also have cargo trousers on from what we saw in filming as well. I have the whole universe at my fingertips. Oh, is this you can't! We see the TARDIS landing on a cliff top, which we saw a bit of filming for this from quite a distance when it was happening. And I'm pretty sure the Doctor is wearing an outfit that we don't really get a proper look at, or haven't had a proper look at yet as well at this moment. And we do see this later on in the trailer as well. We see a shot of Ruby looking at what seems to be a door opening in front of her. And behind her, you can see some tanks that look like they have maybe some babies in them. Possibly they're like clones of babies or clones of some alien. I don't know, maybe it's even possible this relates to her her general story arc of being adopted because we obviously know that she got left as a baby so maybe it's got something to do with that. We see the 15th Doctor fighting against something with some sort of bright light coming from it and we then see him pushing some big red sci-fi button which could literally be anything in Doctor Who to be honest. We see him dancing with Jonathan Groff's character and we also see India of Armour's The Duchess as well. We had the 15th Doctor saying I have the whole universe at my fingertips and The Duchess saying oh this is new and the 15th Doctor then says to Jonathan Groff's character according to the subtitle of this video he says you cad okay so i've just looked up what cad means and apparently caddish behavior is something that's dishonorable or ungentlemanly Abbey Road Studios. all right let's take it from the top we then see the 15th Doctor and Ruby Sunday in their 60s outfits in the TARDIS with the purple lighting, probably dancing to some Beatles track on the jukebox that they have in the TARDIS, followed by them walking down Abbey Road with the Doctor saying Abbey Road Studios, which we get another look at later on in the trailer. This is followed by a shot of the Beatles in Abbey Road Studios with their producer saying, all right, let's take it from the top. We do know from what Russell has said in, I think it was the Imagine documentary, that there is a big like high stakes fight sequence that happens in Abbey Road Studios during the episode the devil's cord so it'll be interesting to see what that's all about this is then followed by a shot of what i assume is the 15th doctor standing on some sort of sci-fi landmine or something like that which seems to activate with these green lights on it ruby there are powers beyond the universe are you getting scared because you're just babbling now we then see Ruby Sunday on this cliff top that I was talking about earlier, where you can see a tree in the background is bending in the wind, and it was also like that in the previous shot. And you can see this woman standing in the distance, which is probably what's causing the tree to do that. People think this woman is Susan Twist, who appeared in the Isaac Newton scene in Wild Blue Yonder as Mrs. Merridew, and she also appeared in the newest episode, The Church on Ruby Road, as the woman who asks for a song request from Ruby's band. And she's also been seen during an interview with Russell T Davies 
on a wall in Wolf Studios on what looks like is probably a magazine prop that's going to be used at some point in one of the episodes where her name is listed as Susan Triad. And we do know a company called Triad Technologies or something like that is going to be showing up a lot throughout this series. And it's probably going to be to do with the overarching plot. Maybe something like the Vote Saxon posters that we see in series three. We then see Jinx Monsoon's character, who, like I said, I think he's appearing in the Beatles 60s episode, which we've seen a bit more of a look at in this trailer as well. We then see these slug creatures, which we'd seen during filming. I think this might have had something to do with the Triad Technology stuff, or it might have been to do with the character that Anya and Barnard is playing, the kind of politician character, which weirdly we don't get much of a look at or any look at him, I think, in this trailer. We then see Ruby in front of some sort of wreckage where she says, are you getting scared because you're just babbling now? Presumably to the doctor. And we see a creature that I think Russell has confirmed is the bogeyman, which looks a little bit like a demogorgon from Stranger Things to me. And they seem to be in this corridor that we saw during one of the 60th anniversary trailers. And once again, he's in the same outfit that I've speculated is the episode one outfit. We then see the 15th Doctor and Mel on the moped, which we saw a few shots of during filming, where the 15th Doctor says Mel faster as they're driving through traffic. I think also this bus in front of them might have been where we saw that Triad Technologies logo from what I remember. No job, no boss. Just fun. <laughs> Classic. I'd love it if you came with me. We see the 15th Doctor talking to Ruby in front of the TARDIS. This could be where they parked the TARDIS during the 60th anniversary specials in unit, but it could honestly be anywhere. We see Jonathan Groff's character pointing some sort of sci-fi gun at the 15th Doctor, which some people have speculated this could mean that he's playing Captain Jack. I personally don't see that to be true, and I don't see this as confirmation as that at all. It does make it a little bit more possible, but some people are literally taking this as confirmation of that, which I don't get. Maybe it's possible he's playing another time agent-like character that could be a bit like Captain Jack or maybe they're kind of just replacing Captain Jack with him but I personally don't see him as actually being Captain Jack myself but it, it's still possible obviously. We then see Ruby Sunday in her Regency era outfit with a book seemingly throwing it at someone or hitting something with it and then we see the 15th Doctor reuniting with Rose Noble in the unit HQ which we saw during the giggle so it's nice to know that Rose Noble is coming back maybe this means we'll also see a bit more of Donna again but I personally hope this doesn't mean we'll see more of the 14th Doctor in this series because this is Shooty's first series. It's meant to be a bit of a jumping on point so putting the 14th Doctor in there will be a bit complicated and will kind of overshadow Shooty a little bit. So I really hope they don't do that. We then see a shot of Ruby reacting to something in awe with the Doctor behind in the TARDIS. I'm not sure what this could be but like I said before, the shirt that he's wearing does indicate that this is possibly from episode 1 but he might just wear this costume in multiple episodes for all we know so it could be something else. We see the 15th Doctor once again in the Regency era outfit with his sonic screwdriver but this time he doesn't seem to be in some sort of Regency set in. He looks like he's on some sort of spaceship or something like that. So it's possible this is Jonathan Groff's character's ship because he seems to be not from that era. We see a couple of shots of the Doctor and Ruby at the end of this trailer. This to me looks like it's taking place immediately after the end of the Church on Ruby Road because they're in the same outfits and the composition of the shots and where they're stood in the TARDIS look basically the same as where they were stood at the end of the Church on Ruby Road. So I wouldn't be surprised if the first episode takes off immediately after where we left off. And then we see a shot of the Doctor and Ruby together at the doors of the TARDIS with the interior interior behind them. I can't tell where they are in this shot and for some reason to me this seems like it's more of a shot that won't actually appear in the episode and was maybe filmed just for this trailer but it is possible that it is going to appear in the episode I just can't tell. And the doctor says I'd love it if you came with me. Presumably talking to Ruby but it could be somebody else. <laughs> Okay, so the trailer starts with this incredible opening shot of the TARDIS flying into Unit Tower, with the Doctor then exiting the doors saying, give me the loving. I've seen a lot of people speculating as to who he might be saying this to, but for me personally, I do think it is Rose, backed up by the shot that we see in the first trailer where he's hugging her, but it could honestly be Mel or Kate or anyone at Unit really, but I do personally think he is saying this to Rose, as it just sounds like something he'd more likely say to Rose, although I guess he's known Kate and Mel for a while as well, so it could be any of them. Where did he come from? I don't know, he sort of popped up at the right moment. And then he spoke about time travel. Ruby, do you want to know my secret? I have the whole universe at my fingertips. And I'm all on my own. I'd love it if you came with me. Who are you? 
I'm the doctor. Okay, so we then see a number of reused shots from the church on Ruby Road, which I guess makes sense as it means they can get people to watch that episode before this series comes out and before the new season starts, as that is also already on Disney+. Plus. But also because I assume a lot of the stuff that is set up in that story, particularly with Ruby and her being left at the church, is going to come up at some point in this season, which I'll also get to later on in this trailer. But on top of all this footage, there is what seems to be new dialogue, with Ruby telling Carla about who the Doctor is, which honestly could happen at any point in the season. And we also see a new shot of the TARDIS landing in Carla's flat alongside Cherry. <laughs> We then see shots of the Doctor in a number of different outfits. One of these is the Doctor and Ruby in their 60s outfits from episode 2, The Devil's Chord, which is the Beatles episode, where they seem to be in some sort of void, very reminiscent of the Toymaker's Void, or the Toymaker's Realm, which could indicate some sort of connection between the Toymaker and Jinx Monsoon's character, which I've seen a lot of people speculating about. We also see the Doctor in this monk-like outfit, which honestly I have no idea which episode this could be from. It looks like he's probably on some sort of alien planet and this is how people dress there but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below but we also see him in his regency outfit on this sort of spaceship that we've seen before in the first trailer which is assumed to be Jonathan Groff's character's spaceship which I'll get into that more later on in this video but we also see a hologram of the 10th Doctor next to him which is from the episode The Next Doctor. I assume this is just one of those moments where they're going through what the Doctor used to look like maybe it's somebody who already knows him who's showing other people this or they're just scanning him and this is what's coming up and it's just showing his history and who he is but I don't think it's something that's specifically relevant to the 10th Doctor or David Tennant and this is 10, not 14, so I don't think it's got anything to do with the 14th Doctor. It's called the TARDIS. It's a time and space machine. Is it safe? No idea. <laughs> What if I change history by stepping on a butterfly? Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, what's wrong? We then see the Doctor explaining the TARDIS to Ruby and what it can do in what I assume is basically the first scene we're going to get of season one taking place immediately after the last scene we got in the church on Ruby Road as they're still in the same outfits and obviously that's the first time she enters the TARDIS and I assume when the Doctor asks where she wants to go first she's going to say to see the dinosaurs because we then see the Doctor and Ruby in those same outfits on a cliff top looking out at some dinosaurs. I've seen some people speculating as to whether we're going to see Silorians or anything like that but I personally don't think that's going to be the case because if this is from episode one which I think it is most of that episode seems to be taking place on some sort of space station or spaceship so I don't think the episode as a whole is going to take place with these dinosaurs I think it's just going to be either the pre-title sequence or just a little bit at the start of the episode where the doctor takes her on a first little adventure but during this sequence we do obviously get the butterfly effect gag where Ruby steps on a butterfly and it seems to change history now I don't think this is going to be a big deal that takes up the whole episode I think it's going to be solved pretty much immediately and it's just a little bit of a fun gag but I do think this whole thing with the butterfly effect could be setting up something to do with the butterfly effect happening later on down the series and this is just a fun little way to introduce that concept to the viewer and have it fresh in their mind which I'll get onto later on in this video. With all my adventures, never seen anything like this before. Oh my, Bridgerton! This place is completely <laughs> mad. Okay, so here we see some shots of the Regency era episode, which I believe is episode six from my memory, with Indira Varma's character, the Duchess, who seems to be turning into some sort of bird-like alien creature. I do remember seeing a leak quite a while ago describing this episode and it having something to do with bird people, but luckily I don't remember anything else that was mentioned in that leak, so I haven't had the whole episode spoiled for me and I can't remember if it went into too much detail or not but because this leak seems to be true I'm not gonna look for it and talk about it in this video but it definitely mentioned bird people in this episode and so it's definitely true and I don't want to talk about it any further just in case it spoils anything but we also see Jinx Monsoon's character with this old lady which has been confirmed to be June Hudson who was a costume designer I believe from Classic Who I'm pretty sure she designed some of Tom Baker's outfits possibly the famous scarf but I could be wrong on that so that's a nice little cameo and we also see a shot from what is believed to be episode 3 which is Stephen Moffat's episode where we can see the Doctor stuck on a landmine which myself and a lot of other people have speculated is going to be kind of taking up the whole episode where the Doctor is stuck on a landmine and Ruby is going to be trying to get him off the landmine or help him deactivate the landmine or something like that. Now this episode is rumoured to be titled Boom. At the time I'm recording this video we don't know all the episode titles but on the day this video should be coming out we are going to be told what the episode titles are presumably in some titles trailer similar to the 60th anniversary specials. So when you're watching this, you might know if that episode is titled Boom or 
or not, and if it is, that obviously lends some more credence to this idea. Things seem to be turning more and more supernatural. <laughs> No, don't be silly. There's no such thing as monsters. It's just creatures you haven't met yet. Okay, so we then see a shot from the episode The Devil's Chord, which is episode 2, the 60s Beatles episode, of what seems to be someone trapped in a drum kit. I'm presuming this is probably Ringo Starr trapped in his own drum kit, and maybe Jinx Monsoon's character traps the Beatles in their instruments throughout the whole episode, and I've seen a few other people speculating that, but it could be someone else. But either way, it seems like Jinx Monsoon's character is trapping people in their musical instruments. We also see a shot from the same location where we saw that slug creature in the first trailer, but this time we see the shot of a woman next do the slug creature, which some people have speculated could be a younger version of Mrs. Flood. I'm not entirely sure what's led them to believe this. Maybe they just think she looks kind of like Mrs. Flood, and I guess it would maybe be the right time period. But let me know who you think this is. For me personally, I think it could just be a new character, a very minor character in the episode, but let me know what you think. We also hear Kate Stewart saying things seem to be turning more and more supernatural, which is obviously leading on from the Doctor invoking superstitions at the edge of the universe in Wild Blue Yonder, which led to the Toy Maker and the Goblins. And I also personally think this is going to be what's led to Jinx Monsoon's character, who, like I said earlier, might be similar to the Toy Maker, as well as the Bogeyman, which we also see in these shots in the trailer. I think it's possible that could be some sort of supernatural creature, especially going by the name, but it does also look like it could be some sort of alien because it's giving very much Demogorgon vibes. And we also see the hooded figure who dropped Ruby off in the Church on Ruby Road, which is why I think we get some shots from the Church on Ruby Road in this trailer, as well as just to get people to watch that episode before the season comes out. I personally think this character looks like it could be Ruby, be, but some other people have speculated other things. It could also obviously be a brand new character, maybe Mrs. Flood, but some people have also speculated it could be the 13th Doctor, which I personally think is a ridiculous theory. But let me know who you think this is in the comments down below. There are powers beyond the universe so vast. The whole world could slide into the pit. This is what we're trying to stop. I'm still her mum. I need to know she'll be okay. You'll keep us safe. I will keep us safe. I promise. We then see this massive dust cloud sweeping over what seems to be London. This seems like it's going to be in the finale. I don't know exactly what it is, but to me it's giving Galactus vibes, especially when we can see it taking over the planets from space as well, but let me know what you think this is in the comments down below. We also see a shot in Unit, where we see more of a look at Rose and Lenny Rush's character, Morris, and we also see a shot of destroyed London, with the Doctor and Ruby still in their 60s outfits from episode 2. So I personally think this is related to the butterfly effect stuff we see earlier on which is from episode 1 and I personally think the short butterfly effect gag in episode 1 in the cold open or whatever in episode 1 is a little bit of a setup just to kind of plant the idea of the butterfly effect in the audience's mind to set up this moment in episode 2 or later on down the series potentially setting up the butterfly effect of if the Beatles didn't exist this is what earth would look like or something like that something along those lines but let me know what you think in the comments down below it's taken me all this time to, to change it Okay, so in a very short shot of the TARDIS being scanned in Unit HQ, we can see the initials S Triad on the screen behind it. Now, this is relating to the character Susan Triad, who's played by Susan Twist, who is a character we've seen a little bit of in some of the previous episodes, specifically at the start of Wild Blue Yonder as Mrs. Meridew, and as a woman heckling Ruby's band in the Church on Ruby Road. So this is going to be a recurring character, possibly part of the mystery box that Russell C. Davies likes to do a lot. And we also know there is going to be a company called Triad technologies which she is likely going to be the CEO or founder of but what's interesting about this is obviously with it only having her first name as an initial and it being S triad if you rearrange those letters it does spell out TARDIS so this could be some sort of indication as to who she is a lot of people have speculated that this could be the meddling monk as we know the meddling monk has a TARDIS but I've also seen speculation that this could be hinting that Susan triad is herself a TARDIS in humanoid form if you want to know more about that Philip Hawkins has done a great video breaking that down in a lot more detail than I want to go in here. So I'll make sure to have that linked in the description down below if you want to hear more about that theory. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Time may change me. But I can't trace time.
Throughout this trailer, we also see a few shots of this dark room with a load of lights in it. And we also see it snowing sometimes. For me, this room is very reminiscent of the danger room from X-Men, which is kind of like a training room that has kind of like holograms, putting them into some virtual reality kind of situation where they can train for different missions they're about to go on. But I don't know if that's what this is. That's just kind of the vibe that it gives me. We also see the doctor in his Regency outfit from episode six, saluting something in the sky, which has led a lot of people to speculate that Jonathan Groff's character in that episode is either a recast version of Captain Jack or a younger version of Captain Jack, which I do think is possible. But for me personally, I think it is a lot more likely if he does have anything to do with that, that he's just another time agent, but he could also just be a brand new character. But I do think it is still entirely possible that he could be a younger version of Captain Jack or a recast version of Captain Jack. For me personally, if it is one of those two, I think a younger version of Captain Jack is more likely and definitely justifies the recast a lot more. But like I said, it could just be a new character. So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. We also see a shot of the Doctor and a load of people dancing in what seems to be Abbey Road Studios in the 60s episode. For me, I think this could be an indication that we are going to get a musical number in this episode, especially after the Church on Ruby Road with the Goblin song. And obviously Jinx Monsoon's character seems to be very musical in that episode as well. So maybe she's forcing the characters to do a musical number or something like that. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And finally, we also see this shot of the TARDIS abandoned in what I believe is episode four, maybe five, where we've also seen a lot of shots of Ruby on her own on this clifftop. For me, this is very reminiscent of what the Doctor was talking about with the TARDIS in Wild Blue Yonder. And I can't help but think Russell wrote those lines as kind of a setup to this episode, knowing that it was going to be an episode in season one when he was writing it. Funny, because I wonder where the TARDIS goes. Maybe it lands on some outcrop by the sea. There's a tribe and they worship it for a hundred years. Then they go up and try to burn it. Then they get wise, they preserve it. Then they build a city all around. So the TARDIS is just a tiny little dot surrounded by skyscrapers and monorails. Time passes and the city falls. We'll get swept away. And there's the TARDIS. Still on its outcrop by the sea. But let me know what you think this is going to be about, because besides that little hint in Wild Blue Yonder, I don't know what this could be about. I have previously speculated that maybe we're going to get a similar episode to like Turn Left or something like that, where the Doctor doesn't exist, or maybe he's trapped somewhere. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Okay, so the first three titles of these title reveals were already heavily rumoured for a while and all three of them turned out to be true. One of them we already knew was confirmed for quite a while now, which I'll get to when I get to that title. But the first episode of Doctor Who Season 1 will be titled Space Babies and it will be written by Russell C. Davis, of course, and is also going to be directed by Julie Ann Robinson. This episode seems to be taking place immediately after the church on Ruby Road when Ruby first enters the TARDIS and I'm assuming the Doctor will ask Ruby where she wants to go which I'm pretty sure was seen in one of the trailers where I assume she will say she wants to see the dinosaurs and we will then see that butterfly effect gag that we saw in the first trailer which I assume will be solved pretty quickly and it's just a bit of a setup for the butterfly effect for another episode which if you want to know more about what I think about that I talk about that more in the trailer breakdown for the first trailer for Doctor Who season one then what I think will happen is the Doctor will set the TARDIS to random which was also seen in one of the trailers Let's have a random landing. and this will take them to that space station that the episode seems to be set in where they seem to be growing intelligent talking babies on the space station and there is also the bogeyman which we've seen in the trailers i'm not sure how these two storylines are going to be related and if you have any theories let me know in the comments down below but that's all i have to say about this episode title in this video The next episode title, which is the one we've had confirmed for a while now, is Episode 2, The Devil's Chord. This is the 60s Beatles episode, and will once again be written by Russell T. Davis, and will be directed by Ben Chessel. Now, in the new trailer, we get another look at Jinx Monsoon's musical character, and in this trailer, she says, You called. You called. Now, for me personally, I think Jinx Monsoon's character is going to be another one of these supernatural villains that we seem to be getting after the Doctor invoked a superstition at the edge of the universe in Wild Blue Yonder, similar to that of the Toy Maker from the 60th anniversary specials. Now, the title, The Devil's Chord, is based on a real musical chord that exists in the music industry. But basically, the reason I think Jinx Monsoon's character says you called in this trailer and seems to be coming out of some sort of piano is because The Devil's Chord will be played in this episode, probably on the piano, and that will summon Jinx Monsoon's supernatural villain. And this chord is also known, among other things, as Triad. Now, obviously, we know there is going to be a character called 
called Susan Triad and Triad Technologies, which I think is going to be related to the finale, which I'll get into later. But I personally don't think this will be related to that. However, I do think it could be mentioned that the Devil's Court is also known as the Triad in this episode, and the word Triad may act as this season's bad wolf or torchwood, basically the kind of mystery box word that keeps getting mentioned throughout the season, leading to the reveal of Susan Triad and Triad Technologies in the finale. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. The third of the previously rumoured titles and the third episode of Doctor Who Season 1 is titled Boom. Now this episode, as previously speculated, is written by Stephen Moffat and will be directed by Julianne Robinson. Now it's been speculated that this episode will consist of the Doctor getting stuck on a landmine in the middle of a battlefield for most of the episode, which I've previously discussed in my previous trailer breakdown for Doctor Who Season 1. So if you want to know more details about what I think is going to happen in this episode, you can watch that. And besides that, I'm not entirely sure what else this episode is going to be about. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. So the first of the brand new titles that haven't previously been speculated or rumoured on is titled 73 Yards, this is episode 4, and this will be written once again by Russell T Davis and will be directed by Dylan Holmes Williams. This is the episode where Ruby seems to be on her own for a lot of it, where we see an abandoned TARDIS on the cliff top and a lot of stuff like that. Now what I personally think is going to happen is the Doctor is going to disappear in the cold open or somewhere at the start of this episode, as the outfit that we've seen him in in this episode we haven't seen a whole lot of him in the outfit whether that be in trailers or in filming and so I think he's going to disappear near the start of this episode and Ruby's going to be left on her own with this mysterious woman always 73 yards away from her but besides that I'm not entirely sure what else might happen in this episode so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> So episode 5 is titled Dot and Bubble and it is once again written by Russell C. Davis. It would have been nice if this one was a new writer but it is what it is and this is also directed by Dylan Holmes Williams. Now for me personally this seems to be the Black Mirror type episode that Millie Gibson keeps mentioning in interviews, possibly set in the not too distant future, focusing on social media and it seems to have those slug creatures in it. It's also possible this could be the episode with Albion and Roger Abbott William played by Anurin Barnard, although that could could be one of the finale episodes, I'm not too sure. And we also see a shot in the trailer of this dome, which is very reminiscent of a scrapped idea for series 4 that Russell T Davis had, so it could be based on that, or maybe there's just the same visual that he's decided to borrow for this episode. But besides that, I'm not too sure what else could be happening in this episode. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Okay, so episode 6 is titled Rogue. This is the Regency era episode written by Kate Heron and Bryony Redman, the only brand new writers of the series. And this is directed by Ben Chessel, who also is directing episode 2. Now, the title Rogue is likely referring to a rogue time agent, as I've seen a lot of people speculating. This has also led some people to speculate even more so that Jonathan Groff's character could be a recast or younger version of Captain Jack Harkness, which, although I do think is possible, I do think it is more likely that it's just another rogue time agent but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below we can also see in this title reveal that there is a character called the duchess of pemberton which is likely indira varma's character as we know she is the duchess and she seems to be one of these bird people or bird like aliens that can kind of shape shift that we see in the trailer and we also see a name that ends in smith on this title reveal which could be hinting at the doctor using his alias john smith which he uses quite a lot but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below so now we get onto what I believe is a two-part finale of this season. I believe I've heard people say that's been confirmed, but I'm not entirely sure. These episodes are titled The Legend of Ruby Sunday and The Empire of Death. They'll both be written by Russell T Davis and both directed by Jamie Donahue. Now we don't know very much about this finale. We do know Unit is going to be involved quite a lot as we've been able to see from the trailers. I also think it's going to have something to do with these dust clouds that we keep seeing in the trailers as well as maybe Triad Technologies and Susan Triad and this could also be the episode with Albion and Roger Ap Gwilliam if that isn't Dot on Bubble. I know I've seen a few people speculating that maybe the Daleks will be in this and Empire of Death is almost like a trick or placeholder 
title and that the episode could actually be titled Empire of the Daleks but I don't know how likely that is I know there's the running theory that the Daleks have to feature every year but I don't believe that rumor is true but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below and if you think that rumor could be true and what you think this episode could be about or these two episodes could be about and those are all three Doctor Who season one trailers we've had so far alongside all eight episode titles for Doctor Who season one let me know which of those trailers is your favorite and if you have any theories below and if you want to know my thoughts on the season one airtimes you can watch this video here